We're introducing a new segment today called Better Realty. Every month we're going to be visiting with John Ginio, owner of Silver and Oak Realty. He's going to be sharing his wisdom in buying and selling homes in Connecticut. Thank you so much for being with us, John. Thank you. Very exciting topic, Realty. Yes. Everybody's a voyeur. Even if we're not in the market, we're still, we're <laughs> always. always in the market. Yes, always. So we're talking about HGTV. Like, mm -hmm. we're, you know, we're guilty junkies. You just yeah. watch, you're like, you know, are they going to buy? Are they going to sell? Are they going to rent? Flipping. I mean, is, is that what people expect now? And, and what we're seeing on TV, is it unrealistic? Sometimes. So I think what happens is people see those homes on HGTV, and when you go out and search for your home, you're expecting that in every house. And what might happen is you might <laughs> miss out on the perfect find. house. Yeah. Right, which is true. You might miss out on the perfect house. Mm -hmm. Yeah, every house can't be that perfect, especially in Connecticut. His, our, our inventory of housing is just older than a lot of the other parts of the country. Yeah. So what's the trend now as far as, I know your company does something a little bit mm -hmm. different. Millennials want a different experience, and, and the way you market things even are, is differently. Like, everything has to have a video now? Yeah, well, yeah, definitely. Um, so historically, uh, the marketing plan for a house has been boxed, where you come in, Here's what we're gonna do. You take your photos, you, you put it on the MLS, and you do some open houses. So what we do that's a little different is every single house has a customized marketing plan. So we'll go to the house, look at it, and then we'll really focus on the main positive attributes that we see of that house. And it seems to be working. What's the number one tip you tell people if they're marketing a house? I, I always heard it's declutter. Clean yes, up. oh yeah, oh yeah, for <laughs> clean sure. It, <laughs> clean it up and yeah. declutter, right? Get rid of yeah, some of the stuff. Yeah, clean up, declutter, and one thing that I think is really important is if you have a lot of your own personal photos of yourself and your family, take them down. Get rid of them. People can't visualize themselves in your house if they see you. <laughs> okay. Right, which is very true. Do you help with that too, staging? We absolutely do, yeah. We've, uh, we've, we have a staging group that we've worked with a, a few times in the past. They're really good. One thing that's really cool that we've been able to do is if you move, you can't really leave your furniture behind to stage the house you needed at your new house. Right. We've worked with a, virtually st a virtual staging company where they come in and they, they stage it virtually. You can't tell the difference. And the photos we put out look like it's totally furnished. You mean they stage it by like putting in graphic couches yeah. and things and Photoshop. it's not real? Photoshop. <laughs> it's just Photoshop. That's yeah. a lot less expensive than real staging, oh, I would sure. assume. Yeah. How is Silver and Oak different from other, uh, other realtor firms? So we're, we're actually a real estate collective rather than a brokerage. Now explain and to me what that is. So... The, the approach that we take, rather than our agents competing for business against one another, they all work together and they help one another. So the customer gets more of a, of a group approach rather than they hire one person and whatever that one person does is what they get. Our entire company works together. Um, and we also collaborate with some other companies throughout New York, New Jersey, and Philadelphia. So we have more resources than just a single independent would. How's the market? I actually noticed in our neighborhood, we've had three different families come in from yeah. New York, mm -hmm. which is, I know Connecticut's been having a tough time economically, yeah. but what's going on in the real estate market, would you say? Well, so if you look at the stats, it shows that the Connecticut market is actually down month over month, but we're not seeing that. We're, we've actually been up double digits. We're really active and really busy. So I think there are some positive things going on out there, regardless of what we're seeing at the, with the numbers. There's it, always buyers and there's always sellers. If people have questions, can, they can obviously get in touch with oh, you. Oh, yeah. Right? Any which way they want. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, email, text, however. You'll, we'll, you'll reach out to them. <laughs> Every which way. That's the other thing that's different. I know my mother-in-law is a realtor, and, she, mm -hmm. and she's you know kind of winding down, but she's like, I don't want to have to do all that. that is a, that's something that you have to do now. It's, yes. There's a lot of social media for mm -hmm. a house. Yes, absolutely. And people want to be able to contact you any which way they want. It, you know, A phone call might not be convenient. An email might be too much. So. We make ourselves very available. I know when I put my house on the market, this was years ago. You know, Why didn't I, you call us? It was years ago. I didn't even know you, John, and now I know you. Um, it, it, it was a price that I had in mind for my mm -hmm. house based on sentimental value, yes. based on a bunch of different things. You're going to come in and give us an honest appraisal. Yes. And be honest with us. We're going to we're gonna show you houses that have most importantly sold in your neighborhood, okay. but have sold within a recent time period. Because as we all know, the market changes year over year. So we want to have the most accurate recent data. Okay, so we should listen to the realtor instead of saying, but no, I want this price. <laughs> that would be a good idea. <laughs> well, I've heard actually you can actually end up getting uh, more money because sometimes you'll get in a bidding war if you price yes. it right. If you price it right, you, you especially in a market where inventory is low, which is what we're experiencing right now, you can have activity that, you know, you can have two, three, four, five offers sometimes within the first few weeks. Wow, that's really remarkable. Mm -hmm. Well, good. Thank you so much for being with us. We look Thank forward you. to working with you. Absolutely. Same here. All right, yeah, we'll great. see you next month. All right, if you're interested in buying or selling your home, check out Silver and Oak, the website silverandoakct.com.